We have made it back. Coffee, check. <sighs> I feel like standing up. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a great, mo well, had a great Memorial Day. I should know by now that there's a delay with when I'm talking to you guys and when you see the video. Maybe I should remember that. Either way, hope everyone had a great Memorial Day and day one of prep officially. And I'm gonna be talking through that a bit in this video. Before I start, I want these videos to be informative. Obviously, I love vlogging and I love just like showing you the day in and day out of my life, but I want them to be educational, right? I don't want you to just leave the video be like, I just watched Brian eat a burrito and then like, I didn't get anything from it. That's not my goal with these. So, if you guys have anything specific you want me to, I'm always snapping, always snapping. Any, anything specific you want me to cover during this prep, and I'm sure there's a lot of stuff. Training, nutrition, meal timing, micronutrients, macronutrients, any of that stuff, anything. We will cover it, just drop it in the comment section below and uh, I'll be sure to, to include it in this video series of my prep. I'm competing August 19th, San Diego. It's called the Pacific USA. It's a men's physique show. So I'm gonna be dieting down quite a bit for this. And I'm excited to take you guys through. So without further ado, let's start the video. Oh, I, I, I don't want nobody else with you. They catch us on the low and I know you hate that. They say that I'm yours and you say it ain't that. Every time it goes, I just bring the Two eggs, five egg whites, some spinach, well, a lot of spinach, oatmeal, peanut butter. You guys have seen me make this how many times? If it's not broken, don't fix it. First thing on deck, guys, high bar, squats, drinking some amino IV, which is gonna be essential on this cut, getting my BCAs in, then also some high volume, non-stimulating pre-workout, uh, no caffeine in there, just their uh, high volumes for pump, and uh, that's very essential during these workouts, especially leg day. Gotta get that pump on leg day. I think I said this already, but we're doing high bar squats. I'm gonna show you my warm-up routine. Four squats, four stretches, hamstring, quads, hip flexors, and glutes. I do all four of these that you're seeing three to four times before I start squatting, even before I start squatting, and uh, in between each set as well. Very important. And uh, in addition to that, I'm gonna roll out my back, and uh, we'll roll out my back in between each of my sets just to stay fresh. One more thing I'm gonna be doing, using these knee sleeves, which I've never used before, actually. So, I know there's a specific way to get these on, I don't know that way, so this should be uh, should be interesting. <laughs> it was not hard. You can see how people like these things. They're very springy. I feel just very sturdy. It's probably why they made them, right? Four sets here at 3:15. This is lighter than I've gone in the past. If you guys have watched my leg days before, I'm usually going heavier than this and I'm using low bar squat method. This is different because I'm on prep now. I'm trying something different. I'm trying to go a little higher rep here, lower weight, and uh, obviously high bar as I've told you before. Switching things up, next leg day I will go heavier, but uh, for now what I'm gonna do is go for four sets of eight reps. I didn't get that last time though, so this will be interesting. I got eight, eight, seven, and then six, I think, so pressure's on. Fire on me, 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 fire on me
DJ. We gonna rock, we gonna jump, we gonna shake the place. We gonna jump like there's fire on this DJ. I just pulled the crazy, legal, craziest traffic maneuver ever. I'm proud of myself. You didn't see it though, but just know it was sick. Real sick. Starbucks. Just thinking, I'm pretty sure I've gotten Starbucks in like every single one of my videos. Is that good? Do you need a receipt? That iced coffee took Forever, thank you Tyler, complaining about your vanilla bean frappuccino. Tyler, just take your vanilla bean frappuccino, come on. We've got places, we've got places to be. I'm meeting a kid named Eli Roman, who I connected with on Twitter. He's a photographer in the LA area, and we're gonna do some shots around Santa Monica. So, we're on our way there. I have never been to the Santa Monica Peter, so it should be a fun time. Let's go. I ain't did shit, but be the real thing. She know I'm a real, got to never change. I never been a one, but try to explain. Why you catch them feels, I'ma sip on this drink. It's these in my brain. Video is complete, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the leg day. And thank you, Eli, again, for hitting me up and uh, meeting up with me to uh, take some of those shots. I know you guys saw a little preview uh, of that shoot at the Santa Monica Pier at the end and on the beach. But either way, just want to reiterate, guys, why I have this channel. I feel like it's good sometimes to sit down and just, just kind of remind you guys, and I know I get new subscribers, people who have just kind of tuned into the channel. The reason I have this channel is to inspire you guys. It is to educate you guys on health and fitness and better ways of thinking and just getting outside your comfort zone. That is what this channel started upon and that's what this channel is always gonna be about. It's gonna be about challenging yourself, stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing new things, new things that in your mind you think that you can't do and you know you know what those things are. You know what those things are, we all know what they are and um, sometimes we, we, we put them on the back burner because it makes us uncomfortable and I hate that. Um, so this channel is about empowering people, it's about you know, yes, I want it to be entertaining, I want it to be inspiring, but I want you guys to be taking away something from these videos, as I said earlier uh, in the opening clip. So, so to tie this to why I'm competing, why am I doing this competition, why am I doing this series, why, why, just why do I want to get on stage? And the answer is because it scares me. It scares me to do that, and I don't like that. I don't like that there's something that freaks me out and I have fear surrounding it. I want to get outside of my comfort zone and I want to prove myself that I can do this. And that this is just what this channel is about. It's about growth. When I started this channel, I was uh, I was living in DC, and uh, since I've started this, you guys have seen me go through so much change in my life. I've, I've moved out to the West Coast. I've gotten in a new relationship with an amazing girl. I've gone from not online coaching and just kind of helping people in my everyday life to having clients online and seeing their transformations is so empowering. And it's, it's awesome and just so rewarding that through this means and me making these videos and posting on social, I can connect with people that are like-minded and people who want to better themselves and people that I can help. And people who, just like me, want to become a better version of themselves. This prep is gonna be about me getting in better shape. It's about gonna be about me losing fat, going through struggles, being freaking hungry, not wanting to get to the gym, but getting to the gym. I'm gonna be open with it. I've always been open with this channel, guys, and I pride myself on that. And I feel like we have a community here, and I'm completely transparent with my life, and you guys know that. And and I hope you can appreciate that. And since moving out west, I'll be real, it's been an adjustment. It's been an adjustment. I've been away from friends, I've been away from family. You haven't seen a lot of people in my videos because I haven't met a lot of people yet. Just, I guess, part of being in a new area, but but it's been challenging. It is possible to take these situations, put, put yourself in uncomfortable situations and come out on top. And I know that I will, I have that confidence and that's the mentality you have to have if you wanna be successful, guys. Do I have hard days? Yes, I do. I have self-limiting beliefs. I talk to Amanda about them all the time. We all do. We all have stuff that holds us back. But it's the ability to look at that, look at it for what it is, say, 
no, I'm bigger than this. I'm going to do what I want to do, what's in my heart and what I know I'm capable of doing. Because we're all capable of stretching further and becoming a better version of ourselves. We all are. That's what this channel is about. People who watch this channel better themselves and challenge themselves. That's what it is about. That's what it's always going to be about. So again, thank you guys for watching. Just got really real there. <laughs> I go on tangents sometimes when the camera's just like in front of me. So, either way, thank you for watching. Drop comments below about what you want to see. Whatever it is in this series, whatever you want me to cover, training, nutrition, I know I said it earlier, but I will take every comment into consideration and, uh, and we'll go from there. I'm here to help you guys, I'm here to entertain you guys and hopefully inspire you guys to live a better life. I do kinda wanna win that competition though, so. Anyway, see you in the next one. Peace. Explain it, but you know you're working for me. She tells me I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. But how the fuck can you hate me? When I ain't this shit, but be the real thing. She know I'm the real, that'll never change. I never been a one to try to explain why you catch them feels. I'ma sip on this drink, it's easy in my brain.